We are starting this uh, special session, and let me tell a little bit about this uh, special session, particularly to our panel of judges and also the audience. Uh, this is, we, we have been talking about uh, our EC Department Industry Advisory Board uh, for about a uh, couple of years that there is a need to provide an opportunity to our graduating students to have uh, skills uh, to see through the market and to be visionary in terms of the technology development because many of the students are looking into the opportunities to become entrepreneur or start you know, a small company or a startup industry. But not only it is important for those who, ha who want to be entrepreneur uh, down the road, but it is also for those who want to have um, a good job and wants to move up in any particular company because uh, if the employee or if somebody who is working in the company on a technical project and over the time period looking over a particular project and become a project manager or something, if somebody has that particular vision to see through the market and find out what is going to be the next um, uh, technology product that is going to make a big difference, that is going to create a big business. That particular person is an asset to that particular company and the company would not uh, uh, leave that without recognition. So I think that for people who are looking for a career in the industry, as well as the people who are looking at careers uh, as an entrepreneur, it is important for everybody in today's world to be so competitive and have this kind of vision to see through what is going to be the next, te next technology break. And if we could do that in terms of the market analysis, market uh, segmentation, and the business plan, then you are several steps ahead of everybody else. And in today's world where the financial competitiveness it becomes so challenging and so mercurial, uh, it is very important to keep that particular edge uh, so that you can find yourself better opportunity and uh, rewarding opportunities. Uh, so, so that's basically the, uh, the essence of this particular program. And so what we did, we, we created a, a, a class um, at this particular time, there were 14 students in this class. And um, with me, uh, there were people uh, who were uh, experts, uh, faculty member from the College uh, of uh, or School of Management over here, uh, who really were teaching courses in project management and also the financial planning aspects of it. And then I also requested uh, some of our industry advisory board members uh, who came and gave lecture in that particular class. And I would like to recognize uh, Don Blackman over here. He came and gave a lecture on marketing strategy. Mai Cheng came in the classroom and talked about uh, the uh, financial planning of a company and exit strategy. Uh, for the company, what would be the liquid, liquidation strategy for the company. Uh, Leon Baptiste, uh, president CEO of LB Electrics Company, he came and he talked about uh, the SWOT analysis. Uh, and uh, uh, Ted Gabara came and talked about the intellectual property. So uh, these students have prepared uh, three posters for their proposal. And the first uh, uh, poster is technical plan, the second poster is marketing plan, and the third poster is business plan. So there are four teams who would be presenting their proposal, uh, but with a, with, a, um, uh, with a presentation of technical and marketing and business. So the presentation format is as follows, that the first seven minutes they will be presenting a technical proposal, which would be about the product development and the specifications. And immediately followed by the business plan in which they are going to present the marketing plan and the business market analysis and the business plan. So this would be a seven minutes plus seven minutes, 14 minutes presentation, then followed by three to four minutes of question answer period and the discussion. What I had told them that 
this panel is going to grade their final presentation, and this is their final exam, actually. So they are making a pitch to you as you are venture capitalist, would you invest in their proposal? Okay? So uh, any question from the audience? Okay, so, yeah. yeah. Sure. Just one comment for the presenters. So because we're uh, venture capitalists now, we're no longer nice people. So uh, <laughs> we're going to ask some really hard questions, and we're going to treat this like reality, which is we're not going to believe We'll start out with the premise that anything you tell us is made up, and we're going to test everything, because that's what VCs typically do. You know, they, Lots of people come to them. They want money. They have glorious plans on how they're going to bring in millions and billions of dollars, and most of the time those plans don't have any substance. So uh, so don't, don't overreact if we start to, to drill you a little bit. Okay, and, and we need to drill them. <laughs> okay, thank you.